Hello lovies, welcome back to Ladija's Creations. For this DIY, I'm getting ready to bring you guys a mock clock. It is for aesthetic purposes only. Okay lovies, this is the way the clock is going to be looking. I am using scrap pieces of wood and I have gone ahead and placed my numbers on here. I have 12, three, six, and nine. I've also placed the other decorations that's going to be on the clock as well. I am getting ready to go ahead and paint the boards black outside of the numbers and all the other decorations on the clock. Okay, ladies, I am painting the boards black and I am painting outside of the numbers. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. I'm just trying to have a guide as to where I'm going to be placing my numbers and the other decoration that's going to be on the clock. Okay, lovey, so now that I've got my boards painted, I have gone ahead and placed my numbers on there. And I use these numbers right here that I got from Walmart out of the school supply area. And because the numbers were like paper thin, I ended up tracing them on a cardboard box that I also got from Walmart. And I just asked them if I could have them and they said yes. So now that I placed my numbers, my diamonds and my circles on here i'm getting ready to take and glue them down i'm just going to hot glue them down And lovies, I'm going to be using a skewer in which I spray painted it silver. And I cut a wooden dowel and drilled a pilot hole in there. And this is going to be my hand that sits like that. And I'm also going to be using cardboard in which I cut out for my hands as well. So I'm just going to nail this on with my nailer. Okay, lovies, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this little area right here where the dowel is going to be. And then just push the dowel on over in that area. That's the way that's going to be. Okay, I'm getting ready to go ahead and paint this area right here black now that I know where my hand placements are. Okay, so this is the last thing on the front side of this that I'm going to do. I'm getting ready to just place this on the hand right here. And the last thing that I'm getting ready to do is to actually place the hanging on the back. And I'm just going to use twine and staples. Thanks a lot. I'm just going to use a piece of twine. And I'm going to staple it at the top using this twine and staples. That's the way I'm going to be hanging it. I'm just going to place a nail in the wall and then just hang this on there. And let me, just in case I forgot to say, these are these two pieces right here are one by five boards that was just extra wood that was left over. And this piece, it was just a piece of MDF board that was just about the same size. So that's why I used it. Okay, lovies, the only thing that is left to do is to hang it up. Okay, lovies, this is the completed aesthetic clock. It is not a functional clock. It is just for looks only. And lovies, if you wanted to make this a working clock, all you have to do is have the right tools to hollow out the center of the wood piece and then take and purchase just a working hand piece from Walmart. I don't know if they sell them in store, but I know that you can get them online and you can also get them from Amazon, probably eBay as well. But as I said, this is just for looks and lovies. It's time to go. <laughs> I don't have a watch on. 
But love is this time to go. I love you guys and I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. And come on into the kingdom of God where there is love, joy, peace, and happiness in the Holy Ghost. But come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke 17 verses 20 and 21.